When you live in Wisconsin, moving out of your apartment or home in the dead of winter is probably not the best idea. So summer is usually peak moving time, but summer move comes with its own difficulties. Yeah, so here to talk about the best ways to plan a summer move is Neil Steg. He is the Madison Director of Operations with Two Men and a Truck. Thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah. Thank you all for having me. Yeah, Appreciate it. Let's talk about what some of those challenges are in the summer with moving. I mean, the biggest challenge is how busy it is, but getting yeah. through the heat is, um, you know, it, it's even though we need to be efficient and, and do things efficiently for our customers, we got to make sure our guys get home safely, our crews get home safely. Yeah. Um, so taking taking breaks when needed. Um, you know, I always tell the crews, if you're thirsty, it's too late. Mm. So make mm -hmm. sure you keep drinking water, um, get good night's rest, get good sleep, um, and try to eat maybe a little healthier than you maybe normally do when <laughs> it's going to be really, really hot out there so you can stay, stay hydrated and, and keep moving throughout the day. Yeah. As a consumer, when is the best time to probably schedule that move? Because mm -hmm. I know that there are a lot of times during the day that you can pick. When is the best time to get it done efficiently? Um, makes, I think the key is planning ahead. Okay. Yeah. Right? Um, you know, we book up a lot faster this time of year. Um, as you said, you know, we don't, no one wants to move in the dead of winter in Wisconsin, <laughs> right? So um, it's planning ahead, know what your date is, and get, and, and get it on the schedule as early as you can. And then you can work on the planning stages after that, the packing and all the other pieces that come into play. So how far in advance should you actually be planning a move to be able to schedule with you guys? Certainly, if, it, if you really want to move later in the week, the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I would be planning a, a month in advance or more. Okay. Um, sometimes we can squeeze you in, but you know, we, it's, you can never guarantee it. We do have a little more flexibility sometimes during the weekdays, um, but you definitely want to give yourself a few weeks uh, to a month in advance if you, if you have that ability. You know, uh, my friend, I recently just moved from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. It was uh, <laughs> it was not a pleasant process. It, it wasn't go, your company. It was yeah. not your company. It did not go. Well, as, that was the problem. <laughs> that was what it was, right? It did not go as smoothly as I as I had hoped. So, what kind of advice do you have? Because for me, it was I was throwing stuff in at the last minute, and then all of those items they didn't they didn't make it here. Yeah. So, one of the great things about two men in a truck is the the same people that load your truck are going to unload your truck. Mm. Um, even mm. when we're, we are tra if you are traveling uh, to other states and cross country, we will do that uh, for you and take you from point A to point B. So um, you can have more of a guaranteed delivery time uh, because we know how much how long it takes to drive. Um, but as far as preparation and making your move day go smoothly, whether you're moving across the street or, or across the country, it's preparation, yeah. right? Uh, we do packing services as well. I, you know making sure you have the boxes and everything packed and ready to go is going to make it have a better opportunity of getting there safely um, and just understand that to do it the right way it is going to take a little more time and be open to that and understand. Well, that is huge that that your guys are there at the beginning and at the end of that mm -hmm. process. Um, Bob was just showing what next week is going to look like with the heat. Oh, so mm. if you have a move scheduled, say, next Thursday when it's going to be 95, can you reschedule that? Does that does the heat affect the items that you're moving? Not so much. Um, okay. we, we'll make sure that we keep good good care of the item. I, you know, I wouldn't suggest rescheduling. I think the key for us is, you know, we as as a company we we practice a safety culture year round right mm -hmm. the most important thing to us is not only getting the consumers uh, belongings there safely but getting our people back home to their families safely as well mm -hmm. um, so we got to make sure that they have water they have gatorade they have electrolytes the things that they need so we'll make sure we get them out to them so important yeah mm -hmm. thank you neil so much for being here you bet thanks for having me yeah